Wildlife is being weird, wacky and wonderful this week on Falk Focus, with a few last minute entries that guarantee the competition for the grand prize is going to be a close one. A honey badger has a wily entourage, a pair of Varose eagles demonstrate tough parenting, and a hippo gate crashes a dinner party. Good evening and welcome to the second last episode of Felt Focus for the season. As we're getting ready to end our season, it seems this pair of Varose eagles has the same idea. The two adults photographed by Ernest Porter with their characteristic black and white markings are sitting on the nest they usually return to each breeding season. They will both take part in raising the chick to adulthood, catching prey and delivering it to the nest. But when the young bird is ready to leave the nest, it sometimes requires a bit of tough love to encourage it on its way. And we can see how the adults dive bomb the juvenile bird, displaying some incredible aerial acrobatics. The young bird doesn't seem all that keen to venture out on its own quite yet and is putting up quite a fight. They tumble and turn in the air in an effort to chase off the juvenile. The fully fledged juvenile has not developed its adult plumage and won't do so for a number of years yet. So it almost looks like the two black and white birds are fighting another bird of a completely different species. But they will eventually succeed in their eviction of the stubborn chick and once again get ready for a new breeding season and a new chick to raise. Did you know, Varro's eagles lay two eggs four days apart. The chick that hatches first will usually kill the smaller, weaker sibling. This is known as canism. Talking of ferocious parents, this large hippo calf photographed by Renata Evolt has just become the proud mother of a tiny calf. Although adult hippos are relatively safe from crocodiles in the water, their calves are still small enough to be at risk. So hippo mothers are notoriously protective. This group of crocodiles are in the process of devouring a young zebra, which would have been ambushed in the water by one of the crocodiles and is now the subject of a reptilian tug of war. As crocodiles cannot chew their food, they will usually rip it apart using the death roll. If there are numerous crocodiles that are killed, each crocodile will pull on the carcass, hoping to get the biggest chunk. But this mother hippo is not at all in the mood for a crocodile dinner party so close to her young calf, and she barges into the gathering, intent on chasing them off. Now this hippo, on the other hand, doesn't seem very concerned with parenting. In fact, it looks like he's taken some time off and is headed to the beach for a holiday. In these photos taken by Angie Gullen, we can clearly see that the hippo is wading around in the surf, clearly not in a hurry to return back to the fresh water for the time being. It bobs around in the blue water and has even taken the time to take a nap on the warm sand. It is most likely that the hippo was either washed into the sea during a flood or it was chased off by a bigger territorial bull and has taken refuge in the ocean. Either way, it won't be able to survive in the salt water for more than a few days and will eventually have to return to the fresh water before it dehydrates. Nevertheless, it's not often that we get to see a hippo surfing in South Africa. So this is a really special sighting. I'm not sure I would have gone that close to the hippo though. Did you know, although hippos look big and clumsy, they can run at over 30 kilometers an hour. The average human can only sprint at about 12 kilometers an hour. And last but not least is this set of photos sent in by Sharifa Gina. This honey badger is off on his morning adventure. He sets off digging about in the ground in search of tasty morsels. But a pair of Cape foxes notice him and follow him about on his travels. The honey badger doesn't seem all that bothered by his foxy companions and goes about his business unperturbed. The foxes are determined to mob the badger in the hope that he will eventually move on to a different part of the reserve. Only after the blackback jackal joins the commotion does the ferocious little predator decide enough is enough and turns to send the foxes packing. But this morning is about to get even more exciting as he bumps into a much larger opponent in the form of a young male lion. Not one to back down from a fight, the brave little badger immediately goes on the offensive and snaps his sharp little teeth at the inquisitive cat. Eventually, the lion recognizes that although small, the little package of dynamite is capable of unleashing all sorts of chaos and leaves the badger in peace to dart off into the bushes. That's it from me for this week. The competition is closed, but please keep watching to find out if your entry is the one that sees you driving off in a brand new 4x4.